Uh, this is my, my personal take on the book by Dr. David R. Hawkins, Power versus Force. Uh, for me, the uh, that book, which talks about levels of consciousness, I think it's um, a fantastic book, an introductory book. It's not one of his advanced books, but it's a basic introduction to his work. Uh, Letting Go is another uh, very easy introduction to his work and transcending the levels of consciousness. Those are what I call the beginner's books, to just getting the basics of his work. Um, Power versus Force. To understand everything is vibration and that I can be resonating at the level of shame or fear or guilt or uh, or at courage or at... Um, uh, courage, neutrality, uh, love, unconditional love, or, or being the enlightened state. Just to know that uh, is already an enlightenment, and to know that the direction must be to let go to the higher levels, not to go down to the lower levels, that already is giving spiritual seekers uh, uh, um, uh, incredible insight into what the point of life is. Um, on average, it says, I think in the back of the book, you know, the the first time you read that book, you raise 35 points in calibration. Uh, most people in their lifetime raise five calibrations. So just to read that book, you save yourself many lifetimes of work. So it's a very enlightening book uh, to know that um, and to know. And you can also now check what is your vibration. You can, you know, am I um, am I vibrating at fear? Do I feel fear most of the time? Do I feel guilt? Do I sh shame? Am I feeling neutral neutral most of the day? Am I feeling prideful? Am I feeling like love and gratitude most of the day? Or am I in the infinite states of flow? So it's quite easy if you're honest with yourself where you are. Uh, it doesn't need a rocket scientist to... And I think most people will want to go up the scale to those more free states. Uh, it would be quite funny if you wanted to go into those darker states. I want to feel more hateful and angry. Probably the wrong, wrong book to read. You want to join a satanic group probably or something uh, if you want to do that. Um, so... Um, Okay, the, the other important idea I'd like to share today on power versus force, apart from learning the levels, you learn about muscle testing kinesiology. I can't do it myself, but I know if I if I can find people, you can pay them money uh, and they can muscle test. They'll tell you like, um, yes, you. I confirm you're vibrating at neutrality on this scale. So they'll confirm for you. They'll also say like, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if I have an allergy to eggs and they'll use the muscle test and go, uh, Sabir has an allergy to eggs, and oh yes, you do have an allergy to eggs. So they can confirm any any anything any question you want, so long as you have permission to ask the question. You've got to be respectful when when asking questions. Um, so that's uh, that's also talked about. But the other interesting idea, uh, which I'll be talking in other videos on, is entrainment to the field, um, and and that you can everything has a vibration. It's a very enlightening thing. Everything has a vibration. Every person you meet has a vibration. Every piece of music you has has a certain vibration. Every location you go to has a vibration. If you're listening to, watching TV, music, uh, if you're reading a book, everything has a vibration that can be calibrated. This in itself was an, an enlightening thing because uh, what happens is entrainment of your energy level of consciousness to whatever you surround yourself with. If you want to, if you want to be enlightened, you should be reading. Um, you yeah, should be reading probably I Subjectivity and Reality from Dr. Hawkins, A Discovery of the Presence of God. Uh, you can buy those on Audible. Uh, listen to that nonstop, um, and um, and be practicing counseling the beliefs nonstop, and immerse yourself. And he's a teacher at that vibration. Why would you be watching um, a horror movie if your goal is to be um, enlightened yeah i you know why would I, if um if kairi alleluia is vibrating at the level of enlightenment and heavy rock music heavy gangster rap music is calibrating you know at the darkest level i mean why are you listening to gangster music you are you're gonna you're gonna tune into that vibration why are you reading a book on killing people you'll tune into that why are you hanging out with murderers you'll tune into that vibration so you uh, uh, seek holy company, hang out with the enlightened teachers, with holy people, with people doing spiritual work. Um, every book I read, I mean, there's spiritual books, but then, you know, there's high spiritual books. What vibrational book am I going to read? Am I going to read Dr. Hawkins? Uh, uh, 
I'm going to read some some stuff that Buddha said, or am I going to read um, something that my local spiritual teacher uh, is saying? So what has the higher vibration? What am I going to, so what music will I listen? What people will I meet? Uh, what TV will I watch? I mean, it's like, so once I saw that everything has a vibration, if I want to be free of my suffering, how, how, how quickly do I want to be free of my suffering? I need to start going up the levels as quickly as I can and be willing to cut out. Okay, I, I need to stop watching the horror movies, if I'm honest with myself. I can't afford to tune into that vibration for some ego fun. You know, no more horror movies for me. You know, um, I could probably watch Gandhi or something, uh, or The Life of Buddha, or, you know, Dalai Lama or something. So uh, I need to tune into that, the higher vibrations uh, to get that higher spiritual entrainment. So entrainment is a great thing, I would say, from power versus as well. Uh, learn what is the vibration of people, places, and situations. What is What are the different fields and vibration of the different levels of consciousness? And uh, for me, this is an important tool, you know, is starting to get spiritual discernment of uh, what persons, group, what groups do I hang out with? What people do I hang out with? What music do I listen to? And, and and systematically, just reading that book, I just wanted to cut out everything that's negative and start doing all the positive stuff. I haven't got time to waste. As Hawkins says, you know, time is short. You know, get, let's, let's, let's make a move. I haven't got enough time to spend like 100 hours watching horror movies today uh, for, for this week. You know, I want to get, get there uh, before this body expires. Okay, so, um, yeah, that was my... I'm sure everyone will give a different synopsis of power versus force, but that's my one. 